In the 1940s, there was an accident between two trucks in Ma Street, Chippendale, the corner of Ma and Balfour Street, Chip, Chippendale. That was a, a, an area of light manufacturing at the time and, and closely packed terrace houses, quite a densely populated part of town, but a part of town a lot of people actually worked in as well. So when the truck, two trucks hit on the corner, there were a lot of, a lot of people poured out of the factories and uh, workshops around about to have a look. So the cops got a wide shot of that scene. In fact, they took many photos of the scene. They, that they covered it really very comprehensively. And um, there's, so much, there's so much to like about that photograph for me. Now, when I was first researching uh, City of Shadows, I, lived, I was living at Newtown, so I used to leave the museum here and cycle home that way. And uh, of course, I'd always stop and pay my respects at that corner on the way home. And most of the buildings actually were six years ago still there. Most of them are still there now. Some of even the signage can still be read in the background. In the police photo, there's also a bunch of newspaper uh, posters out at the news agent, and there's a uh, great little uh, snapshot of the time. What, one of the articles being advertised in the newspaper banner is just what swing is. Swing music was kind of on the rise then. It was like saying now, you know, what, what hip hop is or something, <laughs> was, you know, some newer music form. There's a great bunch of everyday people have poured out and standing there. It's a lovely photo and it's interesting about this photo and so many of the street scenes taken in Sydney in the early 20th century. It, it, it looks like a cloudy day. There's a kind of greyness to it. I mean, there was a lot of coal smoke in Sydney back in the early 20th century. There were power stations. Every machine ran off. Lots of machines were running off, off coal. So it was a smoky place. It was the big smoke. There's not many of these photos where you see the brilliant high contrast sunshine that we so associate with modern Sydney. So, um, so that kind of gives an, an old world character to these. It's not, it's not contrived old world. That's really what Sydney was at the time. Uh, and it makes it very, very photogenic, very rich, very romantic.